Greetings to you all in the name of Jesus. This is Lady M here with the All Welcome Church. I am Lady Marnine Spearman here to share with the women for the 2020 Faith Living Family Series that we have been in. Pastor has asked me to share a word um, with you guys in his absence and I'm so excited to do so. And I have not forgotten the entire family in this. So it is for the women. I am targeting the women, but there is a word mixed in here for the entire family as well. So I want to share a word about being wise women, about being wise in this time. It's very important that we walk in wisdom. I must say that and I can't say that again. And so I'm coming from Matthew 25 verses 1 through 5, the parable of the 10 virgins. The word of the Lord says this in Matthew 25, at the time the kingdom of heaven will be like 10 virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. And so this parable teaches us a lot about preparation and being wise as women. There will be a time when what we have been doing will come to the forefront. Help me, oh God. And you know, we as women, we strive to do what God has called us to do. We strive to be the women that God has called us to be, to be a good wife, to be, um, you may not be a wife, you may be single, or just to be a good woman. But in the midst of that, we have to embrace wisdom, especially in this season. Oh my goodness, women, we have to go after wisdom like we've never gone after before. And the parable teaches us here that God's kingdom is like these young virgins. There were five who were ready and there were five who were not. And there were five who were silly and there were five who were smart. If you look at the message version of that and it's teaching us that we as women, we can find ourselves doing some silly things. Come on. What we look at, look like at 50 years old, doing some of the things that we would have been um, more likely to do when we were 18, 17 and 19 years old. What do we look like at uh, 65 years old sucking on a pacifier? Come on. And that's what we, where we find ourselves in some of our interactions. Help me, Holy Ghost. We find ourselves in a place of immaturity in some of our responses and some of the things that we are doing. But I want to encourage women on today to walk in wisdom. And the scripture says that if you lack wisdom, what do you do? You ask of the Lord. In Proverbs, it tells us that that we ought to seek our wisdom from God, not from blogs, come on, not from books that are written by other people. And I'm not saying it's anything wrong with that because I write books, but guess what? I'm not the end all be all. I don't know everything. The wisdom that I gain, it comes from experience, come on. It comes from getting in the presence of God. It comes from being a woman of worship and it comes from seeking the things of God. That is where the wisdom comes. In. And even if some of us who've had babies and when we have these new little born babies and they come to us and we don't know what to do, our prayer have to be, Lord, teach us how to be wise mothers. Teach us how to be wise wives. When you step out and go and put on that wedding gown and get to that altar, help me, Holy Ghost, you don't know what to do. And so you have to say, God, I need you to fill me with wisdom and knowledge. We must be wise women and wives in this season. And the scripture is saying that there were some who were silly and some who were smart. So you want to be found in a place and position where you're not walking in silliness. Come on. Well, we're not paying attention to things that are, are trivial, that, that are wasting our time, things that are causing us to procrastinate, things that are causing us to be non productive productive come on wives we got to put that stuff to the side come on women we have to put that to the side and say god i want to be wise and this is where i want to help the men and the children even as being women of wisdom and we want to implement um things that god have taught us and to walk in wisdom as women of god we need your cooperation Come on, husbands and children, when mothers are and wives are making preparation in the home, cooperate. 
<laughs> oh, I know I'm helping somebody. Cooperate. We need the men to cooperate. When we need things done around the house, come on, that we can't do. Women, we have to be wise and say, okay, God, I'm going to wait. I'm going to let you, you know, work on him so that he can do it. But in our wisdom, we are seeking these things so that we can be prepared. Like it's hurricane season. And we got two hurricanes out there on the water now. Wives ought to be preparing. We ought to be preparing our homes and we ought to already be prepared. And children and husbands, we need you to line up with us as we are exemplifying wisdom. And we also have to latch on to our husband's wisdom. When the man of God and the priest of our home is giving instruction and he's saying that to do certain things a certain way, we as wives have to line up with that. Come on, that's wisdom. I'm helping you today. It's wisdom in that. And so Psalm 73 tells us, that there is a such, and this is a part B of that. It says that there are pampered, overfed, decked out with silly bowls of silliness. This scripture is talking about women who find themselves pampered, overfed, decked out with silk bowls of silliness. Come on, the word of God is amazing. He's telling us that some of us wearing bowls, that silk bowls of silliness. And we don't want to be in that position. Help us, oh God. But Proverbs also tells us in 14 and 1 that the wise woman builds her house. Get that. Proverbs 14 and 1. The wise woman does what? She builds her house. So you have to be interested in your own house. Come on. You can't be interested in what's going on next door. What's going on in your sister house. What's going on in the pastor wife house. Be concerned and interested in building your own house. Oh, I feel God right there. Come on. God has put in you what you need for your family. Everything that you need to build your household and in support when you have a husband, you are to undergird what you have to bring to the table to help build your house. Come on. Somebody say, I'm building my house. Come on. I'm a wise woman who gonna build my house. I'm gonna work around my house. I'm gonna snatch the weeds out of my own house. I'm gonna contribute my talents, my time, and my treasure. Oh, I feel God right there. I'm going to build my own house. Oh my God. And we have neglected. Come on. If you have, I want you to repent right now. Say, God, forgive me. Mm, forgive me Lord for not walking in wisdom in my house some of us have spoken things out oh I'm hitting myself now we have spoken things out in our home that have torn it down instead of building it oh I'm helping somebody and God is saying listen women I want you to build I want you to be so every time, even even in this tumultuous season, you got to keep building no matter what you're going through. I know of some testimonies and some tests that some women are going through. They are hard. But I'm saying to you, women, continue to build, continue to be interested in your own house, continue to uh, be concerned about what's going on in your own house. Then Proverbs 14 and one says this. But with her own hands, the foolish one tears it down. We don't want to be that woman. You don't want to tear your own home down. Oh, if you could only imagine a neighborhood of women just walking around and tearing down their own house. Say, you know, we, we, this is how we live. My life is horrible. I'm not excited about how I live. You are the, you are the builder and you are the one who contribute to your own life by the things that you say, by the things that you do. That's right. Yes. You got to speak life into your own house. You got to say, listen, this is the house that God has given me to contribute to build. And what an honor it is. Oh, I thank him for it. We ought to just thank him right now. Thank him. Oh, we thank you, God, that we are wise. That you are infusing us with wisdom. You are giving us supernatural wisdom from on high. On how to maneuver through this season. And when so you so um, children, when your mother give instruction, heed it. Because she's walking in wisdom. It's for your own good. I want to help you there. This, this is for the family. We're still talking about the family. But I'm talking about wise women who contribute to the family. Who are interested in their own family. And not functioning in silliness come on and being concerned about things that don't concern us but we are making the efforts that we need to make in the spiritual realm in the prayer closet come on in this bible in the word of god hallelujah to build our houses 
And so I say to you, women of God, build, be wise, and avoid the silly things that will stop us from glorifying God. And so I hope you enjoyed this word on today. And do remember to follow us at allwelcomechurch.org and to email us at allwelcomechurch at yahoo.com and continue to catch these series for the 2020 Family Faith Living Series. Thank you and God bless.